the superstar, the megastar, Sergei Maslovoyev, is in the house. So, a Lithuanian folk song plays out. And it's sang live. On stage. Well, there's some ring entrances. Some are emphatically radically crazy. Some are very quiet. Some come out singing, dancing, and then sometimes you get folk singing like you have here tonight. But this is the quiet before the storm. Well, the storm is brewing right now. Yeah, it didn't stay quiet for long, right? Maslovoyev, a man nicknamed Kuvalda. Well, I'm just noticing something on his T-shirt. He's got rest in peace. There must be some family or friend who's pictured across, emblazoned across his chest on his T-shirt with a sign of respect. And he's just done the sign of the cross, looked up and said, this is for you. And you know what? When a fighter brings that, that's a bit of extra into the ring. You're fighting for a cause. Not just fighting for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for your team, for your instructor. But you're fighting for a reason. Well, this is one of my favorite fighters. Maslovoyev, six foot two and a half, 29 years old. 31 four losses, 16 knockouts for the monster. Super fight, fighting for the blue corner. 26 years old, official height 190 centimeter, official weight 95 kilogram. His professional record: 20 wins, 10 by knockouts, 8 losses. Dutch champion, participant and winner of international fighting tournaments. Fighter representing fighting team Jamal Holland, Thomas. <laughs> Fighting for the red corner, 29 years old, official height 189 centimeter, official weight 92 kilogram. His professional record: 30 wins, 16 by knockouts, four losses. Lithuanian Muay Thai and K1 champion, European K1 champion, World Kickboxing champion, KOK Euro Grand Prix heavyweight champion, and KOK World champion. Nickname: Kuvalda. Sparta Gym, Lithuania, Sergei Maslovoyev. Well, Kovada, Sledgehammer is what they've given him, but I give him another nickname. I mentioned that to you at the hotel today. I call him the surgeon. His precision is incredible. I call him Ivan Drago. Well, he's got that look, hasn't he? The first time I saw him, I looked, I thought, this is Ivan Drago. I said the same thing. And Having watched this guy fight now maybe 10, 12 times, um, he's clinically incredible. He is technically incredible. I'm going to say clinically, I'm saying that because he's like a surgeon. He picks his shots, he's got explosion in both hands, but Round one. he's up against the guy who looks ready to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's do it, guys. Wow. Three rounds of three minutes. This one could be a quick one. Don't blink. They've started off at an emphatic pace. Rich wow. Water is a solid gentleman, but right now he's been rocked from the uh, get go. Water with a jumping knee. The flying Dutchman goes in. Thomas met him in the middle. Four fighters, heavy hitters. Rich Water with a left hand. Oh, jumping knee just scares the chin of Sergei Maslaboyev. A very nice attitude by the Dutchman because oh, the Dutchman, yeah, he's taking the fight right to the local man, and that's what you've got to do when you're fighting out of your own country and you're fighting in somebody's back garden. You've got to take it to them. Wow! He's going in for the kill very early on. You got to be careful because uh, by leaning in forward, he could be welcomed by a counter of uh, Maslowoyev. Could be deadly. Well, both fighters are being tested here. 
front kick goes in from Thomas. This is incredible Listen stuff. Listen to the crowd. I mean, people are just, uh, can't believe it. People are aghast. You know, never write a man off. This is incredible. Even the referee's almost in the way. He's under, he's in trouble. Oh, the sledgehammer is being uh, hammered right now by Bridgewater. This could be an upset tonight unless Sergey can turn something home. Uh -oh. Well, the referee has got his work cut out tonight. He's a bit overexcited, though, Bridgewater. Saying that. Whoa, the flying Dutchman goes in again. Just touches the chin of Sergei Maslaboyev. I don't know what he's being warned. I don't know what he's warning for that. I didn't see him do anything wrong, but... Kuvalda, the sledgehammer. Roundhouse spinning, roundhouse kick, flying knee. Lands the punch. Uh, not to not the crowd are on the feet. Yeah, the crowd's popping, not for much. A lot of hope now. So Thomas Bridgewater has come to fight. This guy is something special. Well, this is what he needed, because I've seen Sergey fight guys less than him, and you know, on fight records and different things. And you know, sometimes you can't always get it your own way. Sometimes you're gonna get somebody who'll go stay and stand and bang with you. And oh. this guy is doing it. Saw the referee almost taking a high kick in the exchange. Stiff jabs coming from Thomas Bridgewater. Down they go. Come on, guys. No takedown. <laughs> MMA style. <laughs> and Bridgewater may think that uh, you know, he needs to get the, the win very quickly. Maybe he, has, he doesn't have enough. Uh, well, I think Sergey is a little bit like a rabbit in the headlights. He didn't expect this fast start, you know. Clearly not. Again, the flying Dutchman. Dutchman comes in again with that knee. Wow. 10 second hammer's gone down. The hammer. They're asking for a high kick. But, oh, big punch on the bell. Well, the hammer goes down, but the sledgehammer didn't have it his own way, did he? What kind of story did you bring me into, uh, Sandy? Well, only matchups where we did not expect anything that, that, is, that is going on. This is insane. This is what it's all about. This is what KOK is all about. Bring the best fights, styles, and I'm gonna say it again, mate, fights. We've got two great stylists here who are putting it together and they're going toe to toe and they're just not holding back. What I'm amazed is that they bring in guys Boom. from kick. Wow. That we don't really know. They don't have like a big name on the international scene. And these guys are bringing it. You know, they're not here to collect a quick paycheck or whatever. They understand that it's a big opportunity. A lot of eyes are going to be on you. You're going to be broadcast all over the planet. Exactly. You're going to seduce also a lot of promoters, probably, still, you know, keeping a keen eye on this event. And if you show what you do best, maybe you're going to be booked again and again and again and again, and your career is going to take off. And that's what Thomas, uh, don't call me Dee Dee Bridgewater, is doing right now. Well, Thomas from Amsterdam, Netherlands, is showing what the Dutch are made of, and they are tough. And he's really, really impressed the crowd and his opponent in the first round. He's got the first And round. myself, and you, round, it, hasn't he? Really has. The back for the Dutchman, for sure. Wow. Incredible stuff. I'm on the edge of my seat. I've got my eyes wider open than a wide mouth frog. <laughs> this is incredible. High kick by the representative of the uh, Team Jamal. Oh, and again, whoa, big yeah, shot. Gonna... But he takes it well and comes back. Thomas has got a real solid chin. Yeah. Cover enough, cover enough now. The sledgehammer has woken up. Thomas needs to get his hands up because when the surgeon goes to work, uh -oh. he's accurate, like I said. Right above us here. And again, the referee doing a great job because the top rope is still loose. And Thomas is suffering. Bridgewater now. He's Big shot right mode. above our commentary seats here. Thomas a little bit lost his flow, lost his rhythm. He's been using that uh, jumping knee a lot, so maybe if uh, takes two from Boyev kind of uh, sees it coming, what left is there going to be for uh, Bridgewater? In the clinch. Separate these two beasts. So one and a half minutes gone, one and a half left in round two. This makes a great end of the night fight. Three punch combo. Uh oh. Yeah. This is the problem with the fourth uh, rope. You can see that Bridgewater is suffering. You saw him win. Yeah. Leaning back over the rope. Like I said, these ropes are dangerous. Oh, big low kick from Thomas into Sergei's leg. Great reaction by the Dutch. 
body this is shot. What? The body snatcher. Goes to work, wrestles his man down. <laughs> Bit of fatigue is setting in now with Thomas. This is the third time we've had the same bout. Oh, big shots again. The fly oh, oh, my God! Jumping Takes knee. Takes a big knee to the face. I said the Flying Dutchman with that knee is dangerous. He was looking for it. Didn't expect that. Wow. Everyone is on the feet, Ooh. stunned. Stunned. Stunned is the and word. And there's still 30 seconds remaining. Thomas Bridgewater did something tremendous. Less than 30 seconds away from the end of round two. He's going in for the kill. But unfortunately, when you do that, you open yourself Ooh, up to it. He nearly took the referee out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you he's up going to counter, for be it. Careful, look, be careful. Sergei stepping back out of range, which is good. We've seen that story many times before. Pushes him off with a front kick. The referee breaks them. Closing seconds. <laughs> Die. This is insane. Wow, I didn't hear the 10 second hammer there. The referee, I don't know, I mean, the, the, the timekeeper just rang that bell a little early. But Round you know what? Two was clearly dominated by Sergei Maslovoyev. He was the one in the lead. He had like, he was leaps and bounds in front of uh, Thomas Bridgewater. And this man, the Flying Dutchman, as you said, finally got in that jumping knee. And that was really the difference maker. That's two rounds to zero, clearly. So a 10 8 round. Boom! There you go! Big knee! It could have been, and again, it shows they've got this guy, these two have got chins. Oh, look at that angle there. Whoa! What at that moment was going through the mind of Sergei Maslaboya? Well, I'll tell you what was going through the mind was the chin as it came up and landed cleanly. A lesser fighter would not have got up. Wow! We were not expecting this at all. The magic continues. This time, we have one round left. Three minutes to go. The last three minutes of the night of this KOK 45. So this is unbelievable. Look at this. 8,000 people in attendance plus. Final round. All shouting Kuvalda, which is sledgehammer. Now, as the sledgehammer recovered in that one minute, 60 seconds, it's a very short time. Well, Thomas back. Bridgewater has brought everything from Holland and met this man in his hometown, the local hero, the surgeon as I call him, or as the sledgehammer as he's known to his fight fans. He's this is incredible. Forward, though. He's been uh, knocked down in round two. Oh, now he's afraid of that jumping knee. Go. He slipped, unfortunately, Bridgewater slipped on that low kick attempt. Two, three big punches. And we saw the uppercut land also. A smart move from Thomas. He grabs him, nullifies, stops the onslaught, the referee breaks them. He's going to need a knockdown for sure if he wants to uh, yeah. take this one maybe. No, he looks pretty clear. His eyes look clear to me. Sergey, there's a man on a mission at the moment. Whoa, 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 so, whoa, 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 hey, pulling on his hair now, that's not, <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> but so too is Thomas Bridgewater. Ooh, nice knee from Sergey. Again, aiming for the solar plexus. Oh, he flies, he's, uh, flies in with his own knee. Thomas sidesteps neatly. Got some bad news. We're uh, one minute 25 away from the end of round three. We got a low blow also on the exchange, complaining maybe about a cup problem. A bit of a timeout. I don't know if it's broken or something, or is it moved? Or... It said he got a low blow. It's a knee, but I didn't see that. But uh, from our angle, it's difficult to see. What's going on? So the time's over. back on. But at the time, they did not stop it. Well, they didn't stop it on the clock here, but where they stopped it on the side there is another story. I don't know if that's in, in unison with the, the digital display we have there. And again, the jumping knee. Yeah. It's the story of the match. It certainly is. Oh. You know, this could be one of those fights that could go an extra round. Oof. Big shots. Both fighters hammering those fists and feet. Yeah. 
20 seconds to go. So Sergey surges forwards, but has and can he do enough in this round to pull back round two, which is a 10-8. Well, he certainly has stepped up in this last minute, but is it too little, too late? Big shin goes across the body. Jumping front kick. It's getting angry oh. now, Sergei Maslovoyev. Well, there the we go. Seconds. Listen, Sandy, you said it was a 10 in the second round. It could be a 9-9, nine -nine because, you know, I mean, he knocked him down. Well, 9-8, sorry, 9-8, because he was still dominating. So he was me, still now, dominating for like two minutes and 59 seconds of the round. No. In the second round? No, yeah. no, 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 I don't agree. Um, no, it was a clear 10-8 round. Um, because he had moments in there still, because he was attempting the flying knee, they had a good yeah. exchanges, no. I'm gonna go first round 10-9 to red, yeah. second round 10-8 to blue. Third no, no, round. the first round was not to red, no, I don't agree with that. You don't think that Sergei won the, no, the first? first round, the first round was uh, very surprising. Uh, you think, all right, so, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. A 10, 10, uh, yeah, sorry, 10-9 to blue, sorry, and a 10, Eight. Yeah, you could go. I see what you mean. You see what you mean. You could give him because he was doing was doing better in round two, Sergey. But if they give it a 10-8, then he's and lost. But he could have won the last round to come back. Aaron, another round. This is Lithuania. Yeah, they, what did I say? What did I say? Uh, now the, the corners are saying different. They're going, what the hell? Yeah, because to me, you know, sorry, 10-9 to red first round. You say that he did really well, Sergey. So let's even go. Let's be nice, like you said, nine eight or yeah, ten yeah. or ten nine. You could give him that point back because of how much work Sergey did. That's two rounds he's down. If he won the third round, he hasn't won. I'm but telling you, if this same this match, strange, if this same bout happened in a different country, maybe we wouldn't get the fourth round. I am saying nothing. My lips are sealed. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I'm All I'll friend. say is though. Doesn't it make it great though going an extra round? Is this not really good to make yeah, for the crowd and for everybody else? It is, it is, it is, but it makes me a liar, which I don't like. <laughs> I said earlier it's gonna be the last three minutes of the fight yeah. of the night. And now there's one more extra round. It ain't over till it's over. It isn't over till it's over till the fat lady sings, and there certainly isn't many fat ladies around this ring. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the show because here we go. Okay, can I say it for real this time? You can say it for real. We're gonna have the last three minutes of the night of the KOK 45 for real. Let's do it. The winner of this round will be the winner of the whole fight. Well, what a great final fight of the night this has been. Some of them usually end up either great or anti-climax. This has certainly ended up the latter. It is, sorry, the former, which yeah. means it has been one of the fights of the night too. We saw one of them earlier on tonight that I felt was the best fight of the night, but this could have perhaps superseded that. I like Bridgewater because I thought he was going to be a completely uh, dead alive, but no, he's still in. Oh, Taking great. those shots like yeah. a champ. Three punch and a knee combination took them all, absorbed them. But he can't keep taking them to win. You have to give it back. So again, the referee having his work cut out tonight. He's certainly earned his dollars and his euros tonight because he's had to separate these big fellas. Oh, 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 oh that's the opening. You saw him wince. Bridgewater dropping his guard. There's something to do here. The finish could happen. I can see even some blood on the, on the cheek of Bridgewater, I think. No, he's got marking under the eye though, yes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Sergey tonight yeah, has aiming. not had it his own way, that's for sure. Aiming for that left cheek, and Bridgewater does not like to beat. Bridgewater's on the back foot, he needs to come forward. He's not gonna win on the back foot. That's too bad. One and a half minutes gone, one and a half remaining in this final fight of the night. The big fight, <laughs> and what a fight this is. Sergey has been tested. Oh, he used his own jumping knee just to the shoulder. The number of times the referee was inches away from him. I know, the referee has had to stand close though tonight to get between these two, to separate them if they go in the clinch. Oh, well, Kubada is the, the cry from the crowd again, saying sledgehammer. We're now 60 seconds away from deliverance. Well, you know what? This is one fight that could end up being going. This guy could come for his title, you know. Oh, 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 
Oh! So whatever the outcome. Down. We saw three uppercuts in a row. Look at the ref. Forty seconds to go. Kuvalda still moving forward again with the uppercut. Look at the ref. The ref is still in the way. I've never seen a ref being so close to the action. Strange. I think the, the for the reason is because of the rope, though, because he can't. Yeah. He, he's trying to let them go to the ropes. That's clever refereeing, actually. I can, I can see two sides of that. I see what you mean because I'm thinking, yeah, why is he doing that? Is he favoring somebody? But no, look what he's doing. He's yeah, having yeah, to stop right, these right. guys going out the ring. Look, see. The left so 10 eye seconds. of Bridgewater is really looking like a piece of ground beef. Well, you know what? It's been a very strong comeback from Sergey. Oh! And it's over. And, last, nasty And look at that. that the look end. at that mutual touch of gloves. But for me, Woo! Sergey's done the business in round four. I this like what I saw tonight. Has been incredible. What a great show tonight. You know what? I can no, understand. What? If the blue corner were complaining, they didn't get the win after three. Yeah. But they were gracious to Sergey, and he proved himself in round four. When you're fighting in a hostile it's territory, all the it fighters it know that so you really got to go through the knockout, or else it's going to be very difficult to get the decision. So we do it again now. The officials are coming in. Tensions are high. But the face of uh, Bridgewater <laughs> tells the story. Look yeah. at his left eye. But it's all about, in fighting, it's not how much you can give, it's how much you can take as well. And you know what? Both fighters gave and took punishment. Both showing okay, they've got the power to take, to give to techniques, and they've actually got the conditioning to take as well. Sign of a good fighter, always. Incredible stuff here at King of Kings in Vilnius. Ladies and gentlemen. Lithuania, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. KOK Championship Series 2017. KOK Super Fight. After the extra round, by unanimous decision, the winner is... So who's it to be? Red Corner, Sergei yeah. Maslova! Yeah, well, no surprise here in the end. Yeah. Well, Thomas Bridgewater applauded him as well. He gave it him, he said, you know what, you got that. But to me, that would be worthy of a rematch, worthy of a title fight, because Sergei's the champion. Sammy, when I said earlier that it's an opportunity for the guys to really explode on the international scene, I mean, now you will know who Bridgewater is. Oh, unbelievable. You know he's got a ton of heart, and I want to see him again and again and again and again. It's as simple as that. So, to summarize the show tonight, what a great fight night. Great matches. This has been one of the greatest KOK shows. And we've had the pleasure of being commentating tonight. It's been a pleasure to meet you, sir. It was the first time, sir. It's the first time, and it was a great time, and I hope it's not the last time. <laughs> what a great job. We'll see you again very soon anyway, because we'll be back on the air, with or without me, in Moldova in just a couple of weeks. That's April the one. 1st, April 1st, April 1st, 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 1st it is, that's yeah. not a joke. And that's not a fool. To be on April Fool on April Fool's Day, we will be there. And right now, do you know what? Me and you should get inside that ring. So is that a wrap? That is a wrap, my friend. We're gonna Ladies and goodbye. gentlemen, good night, Lithuania. Thank you very much. With King of the uh, King of Kings, sorry, KOK 45 is over. Vilnius, good night. Thanks a lot. Thanks uh, yep. to Sandy and everyone. And we'll see you in the ring in just a second. Bye bye. Bye bye.